I'd like to show you a couple of ways of softening the area around a building now. So we'll go back into model space and I'm going to zoom in firstly in, in this area. I'm going to add some shrubs to the to the drawing. I'm going to turn off the uh, building shadows just temporarily just so I can see underneath that grey area. So side edge is our current layer. This is going to hold all the items that we bring in. I'm going to br just bring in some shrubs and place them around the model. So I want to insert, insert, and we're looking from outside the drawing. So we click browse. Okay, I've got six shrubs here, all different designs. None of them start fantastically interesting, but when they're placed in clusters, they start to look a bit more uh, realistic. And when you vary the size a bit, that help helps as well. So shrub one and open. We do want to change the rotation to add a bit of uh, kind of randomness here. Click OK. OK, as they are, they're a bit small. So we're talking two, three, four times the size. So pick a base point and scale factor, let's say three. And you can change the rotation then as long as ortho is not on. Okay, keep doing this for different sizes of shrubs. Okay, just a bit of variation makes all the difference. A little cluster of shrubs there. Use a different shrub. So I'm just putting in different different scale factors and different rotations in that kind of manner. So we'll restart the video once I've placed the shrubs around the, the drawing. Okay, I've placed my six types of shrubs in two clusters here. You could have spaced them out, but they tend to look a bit more uh, garden-like if they're placed in clusters. Now I've got one here that's hanging over the parking a bit too much, so I'm just going to move that out slightly. Now a way you can uh, kind of make things look as if you're in some kind of garden is to add a, a, a crinkly polyline around the edges of your hard landscaping. This works quite well. Um, now I've got a tree here that should really be sent to the back so that the lines of the road show up, so I've just done that. Now I'm going to zoom in a bit closer and use the polyline command. Take os the O snaps off. And I need to be in fairly close to this because I'm, I'm wanting to generally follow the, the hard landscaping lines, but just rough up the edge just slightly. Okay, I don't want to bother myself with hatching all the grass areas, but this little kind of use of the polyline makes it just look a bit more natural, as if there's some kind of soft material coming up against the hard footpath. Okay, it doesn't really matter how untidy you are, but you're just, just at the edge of the polyline. Okay, now I'm not going to make you watch me do the whole of this. Okay, but I'll just do the end of this line, pull back and let you see it, and then we'll come back to the video once the other areas have been done in the same fashion. So heading along towards the house now, can't be much further, there we go, a little bit of squiggle and I'm not going to take it all the way around the house, just to about there. Press return to stop the command. Okay, if you pull back, you see how it just just gives a wee bit of softening to the edge. Now I'll come back to the video once I've done the other parts of this. Now I'm midway through one of my polylines and I'm just what I'm doing is just circle, just going around the edge of the the shrub planting area, just to indicate you know that the the t kind of tended grass stops at a certain point. Okay, and do the same for for this set of shrubs. Grass tends not to grow under shrubs, so you would do something like this to to show that your soft landscaping 
has to stop at some point. Okay, and then it's back onto this line. Now I'll just pause the video. So I've got all the way around the bits of landscape I wanted to do, and it doesn't take long to do, but it can be uh, it can make a bit of a difference. You could, you know, if you were meticulous and you went all the way around and you didn't overlap your polyline in any way, uh, if you've been fairly careful, then you could use this to hatch, you know, a large area of green if you wanted to show that this was grassed in that way. Okay, that's the end of that part of the uh, exercise.